Okay, it's about to be the fall recruiting season and I wanna make sure that I'm ready for any online assessments or uh, technical interviews that I get throughout this um, recruiting season. So I'm trying to complete the NEAT code 250 list of DSA topics and leak code problems. So currently I'm on the stack section and I only have three left. And after this, I'm actually thinking about making a jump to dynamic programming because I actually did get an online assessment recently, which I think I have about two weeks to complete. So I just wanna try and do dynamic programming because I think this company mainly prioritizes those um, kinds of problems. So once I go ahead and get finished with these three, which I believe I will be able to do today if everything goes right, then we're going to be moving on to dynamic programming problems and from there we'll see what's next uh but yeah so let's go ahead and start off with the first problem which is decode string Okay, so I was trying to do this problem make string and I ended up having some what of a recursive approach. Uh, I like to find my own recursive helper function and I used a main loop and basically I had a lot of code. My code was like 50 lines long and it was pretty complicated, but it actually was working for I think like half the test cases. Um, and to be honest, this question was pretty hard, so I'm happy that I even was able to make, you know, I was able to even pass like some of the test cases. Um, but it's been like about an hour, so I ended up just asking ChatGPT to see what was wrong with my code. And apparently, pretty much everything was wrong, or at least I was taking like a really complicated route. And so uh, I ended up getting the the code from AI and it's basically exactly what I wanted to do, but just like way more condensed and it actually works for all the test cases. And instead of making like the, like a completely different helper function and then having a main loop, it does it all within one function um, and then recursively calls itself. And honestly, this is what I was trying to do. <laughs> this like AI code, but I just could not code it in such a simple and elegant way. So yeah, um, but either way, I'm happy to have it done. I think hopefully um, the next two problems won't be as hard as this one. I know they are, they are um, like marked as hard on, on lead code, but sometimes you'll find like a medium problem that is just like way harder than any of the actual hard problems and sometimes it's vice versa like you might find a hard problem that's way easier than a medium problem um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead move on to this next problem and um yeah Okay, so I've been at this problem for about an hour. It was honestly a lot harder than it seemed. Um, I was able to get it to 31 out of 38 test cases passed, which is pretty good for a hard question that I've never seen before. Um, but nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the solution before I waste any more time. And yeah, well actually right now I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and then I'll come back and go ahead and write up the solution. Okay, I just got back. I drink some water, ate some food and stuff, and I actually went over some of the recordings that I have on here, and I just wanna say sorry about the footage. It's, <laughs> it's been some questionable, questionable camera angles, um, mainly because 
my camera, quote unquote camera, is literally just my phone. And I also don't have a tripod or anything, so right now my phone, which is recording, is literally just on top of like 10 shoe boxes. So, so yeah, the camera angle is pretty much always changing um, because I have to like move the shoe boxes around and place my phone on it. Um, so yeah, I just want to say sorry about that. And also I was looking over the footage and it was like, you can only see like a little bit of my screen. Um, so yeah, sorry about that as well. <laughs> and also I will say it's pretty difficult to, um, actually angle my phone in a way where it gets my screen and like my keyboard as well as me. So that's why I'm always like leaning in to try and like talk over here. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe no one cares about that. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try and figure this problem out. I left off at 31 out of 38 test cases passed. So, you know, not too bad, but I'm gonna go ahead, look at the neat code video for this, see what he does and then do it myself. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, I just finished this problem up, and once again, the solution was pretty similar to what I was trying to do, but I think sometimes I just go down like a bit of a rabbit hole with the wrong idea. So like I'll have maybe like the fundamental concept of what I need to do correct, but then I'll have just like one thing that is just completely wrong in my solution that basically holds me back and doesn't let me pass all the test cases. Um, so I think what I need to try doing is thinking a lot more, um, before I actually start coding, because like, if you just think about it, like if you think about your solution completely and maybe you like write notes on it, um, like in the text editor or, you know, if you're just basically going deep before you actually start coding, then you can kind of pre prevent yourself from going down the wrong direction and that can really save you a lot of time um, is what I'm noticing because like if I had just really planned out my solution step by step then I would have realized okay m my solution is probably way too complicated or it's not going to work and it's better to take that time in the beginning to think rather than you know not thinking and rushing into the code and then starting to um you know get all these bugs because you didn't think beforehand or at least you didn't think that good or about you know the overall whole solution um and i think the reason that i got into the habit of just rushing into code is because like when i'm when i was doing these easy problems um on this list like they were so easy that i just didn't even have to think about the full solution i could just start writing code and just kind of complete them well some of them at least some of the easy ones were kind of hard <laughs> but um yeah and even for like some of the medium ones i also didn't really think that much or i didn't have to think that much because i had done them um previously so i think i just need to break that habit and that'll probably save me a lot of time you know it it won't make me um, just know every hard problem. You know, sometimes I'm just not going to know the right solution. Um, but for this one, honestly, uh, I don't know if I said it, but by the way, this one is number 895 maximum frequency stack. Um, this one, it wasn't too hard, I feel. Like I said, I just got caught up in the wrong, wrong direction for it. But um, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the next one and that'll probably be the last one for the day It is another hard question And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try and think about it more before I run into before I actually get into the code and Maybe that'll help me. Maybe Maybe it won't. We will see Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to get this problem done, but unfortunately, 
I've been staring at this screen for like an hour and nothing is really coming to me. I was able to get some of the test cases passed, but overall, I think my brain is just kind of done with Leetcode for today. So I'm gonna go ahead, watch another Neetcode video, um, learn the solution, and then go ahead, code it up for myself, and that'll be it. Okay, so I just took a look at the solution. Honestly, I probably would have never gotten the solution. It's way more, again, it's way more like simple and elegant than what I was trying to code up. Um, this one, I don't think I really understood it as much as I did for the last one. So instead of actually typing it in, I'm gonna try and uh, basically just come back to it tomorrow. So that way I can um, see if I actually retain the information so I'm actually not gonna submit it yet, um, but that'll be for tomorrow. And um, yeah, that is all that I got for today.